Uh, let's continue a little bit here. One of the big stories this week, of course, was oil. I'll, uh, I'll throw this up on the screen for us here. Um, it is the first time that oil has been at less than $30 a barrel. This didn't update. Why did that not update? And we'll let that thing update a little bit here. Uh, where did we close? 29-something. For some reason, this chart didn't update. But it's the first time we've been down below $30 a barrel since I was born. No, just kidding. Since 2008. Okay. Oil was this cheap in 2008. And, you know, of course, we rallied. We had oil up here to ten, And... Now we're back down here to oil at $30 a barrel, just slightly less than that. Now, I want to ask you a question. Does anybody know what was happening? Hold on, let me scoot the chart over. There we go. Okay, so before 2008, before the crisis of 2008, I can't get it all up here. Let's try. There we go. All right, before the crisis of 2008, does anybody know what had happened to cause oil to be so expensive? And then suddenly we have this sell off in oil that barrels or the bottoms out around $30 a barrel. And then we rallied again. Does anybody know what happened during that time to make this stuff occur? Helen goes straight for war. Bill went straight for war. Um, anybody else got something that happened? There's something major that happened that very, very few people talk about. And I'm going to put it up here on the screen. I'm going to do a, uh, what do you call it? A comparison signal. Let me get rid of that volume because we don't need that. Buy volume. All right. <clears throat> do a comparison here. And I'm going to show you exactly what was going on. And I'm going to show you the anomaly that's happening right now. And I don't have a solid answer to this, but I'm going to talk about it. And maybe collectively over time, we'll see some answers come about. What I've just put up on the bottom here in purple is the dollar index. Some of you are a little bit newer to Trade Smart. You may not have heard all my talkings about this. But the thing that is consistent, the thing that is constant about the fall of oil is the rise of the dollar. That is the thing that has been consistent. And the reason the dollar got really, really strong in 2008 is because we had all this deflationary pressure coming in and we had um, basically a major dry up of money supply. Banks couldn't lend. People were, were foreclosing. They were defaulting on their loans and money supply suddenly got very, very tight. And everywhere you see this uh, kind of peak happening, this is the quantitative easing things that the, uh, the Federal Reserve decided to do. And then something happened last summer, by last summer, I mean summer of 2014, that caused the dollar to get really, really strong. Does anybody know what happened? It was the end of QE. Quantitative easing ended, and when, they, when the Fed stopped supporting the dollar the way they had, what it opened the door for is a rise in the dollar because now they don't have all that extra liquidity that we had before. Well, when the dollar gets strong, oil comes down. And the reason for that is because the dollar-oil relationship is, is like a currency exchange of sorts. Oil is priced in dollars per barrel. And so whenever we see the, the value of the dollar going up, we see the value of oil going down. And it's simply an exchange more than anything else. So people are freaking out. They're saying, oh, it must be Iran. It must be that. It must be this. And I have contended ever since last summer that the value of the dollar getting stronger is the primary reason for oil getting cheaper. I think it's interesting. These are never in complete um, you know, sync. It's not just because the dollar went to this price, that's the price of oil. It's never quite that uh, on par. But 
I think it is interesting that where, where oil bottomed in 2008 is where we finally got to now. But if you look at the value of the dollar, the dollar is actually much stronger now than it was in 2008. Now, before any of you go political on me here, it has absolutely nothing to do with political politics. It has nothing to do with policy. It has everything to do with the demand for the dollar and the reality that the Federal Reserve has stopped all the quantitative easing. Okay, so let's keep politics out of it and let's, let's stay focused on the real uh, problem here. It actually has nothing to do with national debt or any of that other stuff that you've been hearing about. And some of you have been paying attention to Porter Stansberry and some of these other people that say the dollar is about to collapse. Well, if it's going to collapse, it's going to collapse from some of its highest levels of the last 15 years. Okay, so, you know, pay attention to what the chart's saying more than what some of the spooky people are saying, because I don't think that a dollar collapse is imminent. In fact, it's the opposite right now. It's a major demand for dollars. What I think is interesting this week related to oil is the reality that oil has notched down and we're now at some of these lower levels uh, while the dollar has not gotten particularly stronger in the last two or three uh, weeks or months here. But oil has gotten substantially weaker. And I think that's interesting. And I don't know a whole lot to make of it uh, other than to say uh, maybe sentiment finally caught up or maybe. Um, sentiment was so optimistic in, in uh, October 14 or whenever that first bottom was. Maybe the sentiment was so optimistic that it eased the fall and that we're just finally getting down to some of the, the appropriate levels. But if any of you have ever heard any of these people on television or the radio talking about oil at 10 or $20 a barrel, I think with if you just look at the relative nature of the dollar to where we were in 2008 and the dollar now, it would make sense that oil would continue being cheaper because the dollar is substantially stronger. It's at least 10% stronger than it was in 2008. So I think a, uh, you know, $20 a barrel oil is not crazy. And I think it could definitely come uh, at some point in the future. Now, along the way, I think what we're going to see is we're going to see little spikes in sentiment where people say, oh my goodness, you know, oil can't get any cheaper. And of course, right now, the pessimism on oil is, is very, very high. So in the near term, I think we probably will see a bottom uh, or at least a slowdown in the selling uh, somewhere between where we are, 30 bucks, and maybe down here around 26, uh, right around $26 a barrel. So I think we're within $3 a barrel of finding a short-term bottom on oil. <laughs> 